It's Stress Awareness Month, and we are bringing attention to the negative impact stress can have on your heart. A doctor is joining us with more to give us some information there. It is Stress Awareness Month, a time to bring attention to the negative impact of stress. And this morning, we are focusing on the dangers that stress can pose on your heart. Joining me with me today, thank you so much for being here. We have Dr. Vaskin, the Sizian Chief of Nuclear Medicine at the University of Maryland. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Thank it's a pleasure you. to be here. We really appreciate you being here because I need you to help explain to me, for those who do not understand, what is nuclear medicine and, and how does that help with diagnosing uh, you know, cardiovascular health mm. issues? It's a great question. So uh, we're all familiar with the stress test. Mm -hmm. So if we have chest pain, you, uh, you tend to run on the treadmill and find out if you can reproduce the chest pain. The sensitivity of that test accuracy is only 75% which is not very good. With nuclear medicine stress test, what you do is you inject a small amount of radioisotope in the vein and you measure blood flow during mm -hmm. the exercise and that improves the accuracy from 75% to 90-95%. So it's a very precise way of measuring blood flow to the heart muscle. But as you know, the, the biggest problem, it's the, the number one cause of death in the world, leading cause, is plaque formation or atherosclerosis of the heart. Mm -hmm. And with stress, you increase your heart rate, you increase your blood pressure, which is not very good. And what happens is you increase the demand of the heart. And if there's limited blood flow to begin with, you develop chest pain and you may suffer from a heart attack. So the whole idea of nuclear stress testing is to detect and prevent subsequent heart attacks mm -hmm. uh, if we can. So who, who's doing these tests? How do you find them? Oh, well, it's actually in, in almost every hospital. Uh, nuclear medicine studies are done. Just to give you a number, there are 8 million procedures performed in this country per year. And this study has been done since mid-1970s. So it's been well tested, effective, and safe, and accurate. So it's, it's available. Any private cardiologist you visit today probably have a nuclear medicine uh, machine in their, in their so office. So you, you have to ask for this specifically? Uh, yes, or? well, you could, but a lot of cardiologists know a lot about it. Okay, so you, well, <laughs> you're the expert, you know. Um, well, I want to ask, also ask you, too, about broken heart syndrome. Yes. Can you explain that for me, and, and how does nuclear test apply here? Well, you know, we're, we're living in a stressful time, and uh, strong emotions, anxiety, fear, anger, grief, uh, even, even uh, COVID or hurricane, mm -hmm. the natural disasters have brought about, upon us a lot of stress. And... With that, what happens is with stress, you, as I said, you increase your heart rate and blood pressure, but the body responds to it by major surge of adrenaline. Mm -hmm. Adrenaline is usually protective if you're trying to run away from something harmful uh, or, or you're going to fight. But in, the, in a normal situation, when it's, it's overly exaggerated response of adrenaline, it can actually weaken the heart muscle and cause symptoms that are similar to heart attack, and we call that broken heart syndrome. So the whole idea is to minimize your stress. And the way you do that is go back to socialization. Give up your electronic <laughs> devices. <laughs> you know, because with, with COVID, we've kind of left all of that socialization away. Mm -hmm. And again, th these are, and of course, you can go back to exercise, meditation, yoga, and, uh, and just kind of deep breaths. I think that those are the type of things we have to go back to, which we've kind of forgotten in the last couple of years. Thank you so much. We just have a you know, short time, but I just want to ask you, you know, what should people look for? Quick, some quick symptoms you can identify. Oh, it would, it would mimic, or it could mimic the, the heart attack or a chest pain. But th the first thing is that it usually starts with some anxiety, some stressful moment where your heart rate goes up, you may feel flushed, and you may get chest pain. Thank you so much for your time today. Sure. We appreciate oh, it. Thank, thank you, you so much, Stephanie. And guys, we have information for you on the screen there, so how you can learn more. Also, make sure to check out fox5dc.com. Dr. Dillison. Thank you, Rush. Thank you so much Thanks again. Thanks, Stephanie. Appreciate, your time. appreciate it.